Welcome back to the distributed tracing in Next.js. This is lesson 4, where we're going to install Sentry into the demo project and configure automatic tracing. Let's begin. Before we begin, let's make sure that we understand what Sentry is and that we have an account to work with. So Sentry is an application monitoring platform that monitors your entire application stack for performance issues and crashes and exceptions. It's free to get started, so if you don't have an account, now's a good time to sign up for one. I'll leave a link in the description for you as a shortcut. If you do and you log in, you'll be taken to the Sentry dashboards. Let's explore some of the pages. The first page that we see here is the issues page where we can see all the errors happening in our app and inspect all of the details about each of those errors. There's also the performance screen where you can look at the performance measurements of our applications, front-end, back-end, mobile, and web vitals. Then we have the replay screen, where we can see how a user used our app just before a specific error happened. In this course, we'll be working inside of the performance page. So let's begin. First, let's make sure we have our Sentry project all set up. We'll create a new project by clicking on the Create Project button in the project screen. We'll select Next.js as our platform. Give it a name. and hit create project. Sentry also gives us the instructions on how to set up the Next.js SDK in our project, so let's follow them. First we need to run the wizard, so I'm going to copy the command and run it in our project. It's going to install the wizard package. It's going to take us to a login screen, so we can authorize our Sentry account with our CLI app. If we go back to the terminal, we'll see a list of all our projects. So let's pick the flashcards app. And there we go. The wizard has configured Sentry in our app. Let's go through the changes. It produced the server config, edge config and client config JS files for us, which are initializing Sentry in these three environments. There's the Sentry properties file that contains the info about the URL, the organization and the project. And then there's the modified Next.js config file that imports the with Sentry config method and wraps our Next.js config with it. So before we run the app, it's a good idea to replace the DSN that is currently in the client, the edge and the server config with an environment variable. And if you can see, it's already set up. We just need to provide it. But in order not to push our DSN, we can just remove the string after the Sentry DSN. There we go, and in order to make sure that we have the Sentry DSN, we should copy the .example file and replace the DSN within our app. Cool, so let's run the app and see what we get. I'm gonna do pmpm dev again, and open our site on localhost 3000. All right, so the app ran. We don't see any issues. If we check the console, you can see that there are no errors being printed out. So that means Sentry is configured correctly. Let's check out our project and make sure that we have some data. Alright, so if we open the performance page, we can see that Sentry has some data for us. We didn't actually do anything other than configuring Sentry in our project, but we still do get some data. Why is that? That is because Sentry has automatic tracing implemented. It automatically picks up on the HTTP calls and page visits for us. As we can see here, we have the get slash API slash categories. And this probably happened when we enter the category screen. We also have the manage flashcard slug page, which is a browser event. And it also has the Next.js route change, the navigation event, the get server side props from Next.js, and also the data request that Next.js does. All right, cool. So yeah, we have Sentry set up correctly, and we are ready to start implementing the distributed tracing. And that's it for this lesson. Don't forget to check out all the resources down in the description below. Like and subscribe and go check out the next video in the series. Thanks for watching.